what's up guys it's been a while <coughs> welcome back again for another tutorial quick and easy tutorial that i will be showing today is on how to make a tattoo on your body and also how to make multiple ones on a body or an object in one place so let's get started let me on my screencast okay <clears throat> so you want to add tattoo let's say to his face what you want to do if you can you need to come to this right corner of this and that is split the screen make it like this let me zoom in again so that I can see his face. So next thing on this uh, screen, what you want to do is go to your shader editor. Yes, shader editor. Zoom it. Then this, the skin that you want to work on, or let's see an object you want to work on, you have to press it. Let's say this is the this is the object and this is the material you have given it the color you have already given it the is plain the have anything so what you want to do next is you need to add some some attribute it let's say Mm, first thing what you want to add is shift a add mix mix yes put it here then go right here where the right float change it remember this is blender 4.2 so maybe all the version doesn't have something like this then we want you want to change this mix color make it to mix color here yeah. so after that add your image texture to here image texture such as this is the word i think around here just keep it so what you want to do next is you can see this a and b color this color means is the color that the skin should be having or an object should be having then the big color is what color you want for the tattoo so what you want to do is go to your base color press it hold and drag it to this a so that you won't have it and also you can try maybe if you already know the hex code you can copy it Control c maybe come here and then paste it that's all but i prefer the drag one since it's the perfect one then if i like the tattoo to be black i can make it black let's leave it to black like this then connect this to base color you see it have changed color then come right here this image texture is where <coughs> you already have the tattoo or you have created or you sketch it whatever you do you can create but make sure the tattoo or the thing that you want to add on the object is png it have transparent background mm. then this alpha connected to factor then now open your file explorer find the image you want or the png image that have transparent background use it as your as you tattoo so let me start with this i might have some <laughs> let me say this let me use this a for example it is transparent and it happened. so you see around his face the tattoo has already marked all his face so to get rid of that since 
I did not use any VMAP and anything. Remember, this tutorial is just fast and easy, not to forget anything. So, what you want to do is go back to this side, go to UV editor, then press after <coughs> while you are inside the face of our object, the one that you have already selected, press tab. Then, by pressing tab, press a to select all then you see this is the face if i like i can use u instead of uv or up then project to view project to view then i will drag this up make it outside the outside the outside the boundary of A. So now you see his face is back to normal. Remember this tutorial is far is so it's easy and fast. So after doing this, that's all you need to do. We have already have the tattoo we needed and let me apply the mirror modifier for this so that it will be duplicating. This object have mirror modifier that's why I'm changing it. So after that what you want to do go to texture right we already made the texture now the next thing we'll be doing now is adding the tattoo i'll go back to my shader editor and here i will add i will add a shader editor press new before you do that remember come here and select all then copy it copy you can press ctrl c to copy this texture they are like the core the basic things that you can just add in now, after copying it i will come right here where it's, you see this plus button i'll just press new then i will press this new again i will delete this press x delete yes then put ctrl g paste that thing that you have already have remember that um, mm, the the color node that we have already copied then press it again inside this so you see it doesn't have this name but the color will be actually like this then what you want to do next is maybe i want the tattoo around let's say the chin right i will press this chin i will press let's see the boundary that our if i want it only here that i will select it but let me say i want it to be yes let, let me just leave it here and here so this is what where i want it to be showing then i'll just go back to to here go back to uv editor then here under this go, go, go to your texture also here press here this texture that i want you can rename it first tattoo that's all then so that you won't forget while you are assigning them then i'll just assign this tattoo i want it to be here then i will assign it mm -hmm. then what next then i'll do you project from view that's all then i will scale it to my likings and in case you see they are doing <clears throat> you are having many 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 of this tattoo of maybe the a and it's showing more more what you want to do is go back to your shader editor come around here where the image texture is where it says this repeat change it to click so that it will only stay one instead of it be showing you multiple it will be repeating itself when you exit the UV map and then now even if i drag it off it won't it won't be showing uh, so this is where i'll be controlling how i want it to i can do it like this i can rotate if i like so 
you see i have given it a two and uh, what if i want to do another tattoo here let's say around here i'll just press the, still active on the object on the face then i will come back to my shader editor you know we have already copied these things we'll just be pasting it copy again remember we have already copied them just to avoid making it not making perfect match with the skin that's why we are copying it instead of duplicating it because some pieces might not reason why i'm not using maybe let's say there is copy here copy to selected or something some pc might crash while before doing that so this one is the easy one you just copy and paste it i'll just add another color press new i'll just delete this x then i'll press ctrl v that's all then um, on the face side i'll just press go to edit mode tab i'll select here select here too i think this boundary should be good for me i'll come to this tattoo maybe let me manage second tattoo oh let me see just hat hat tattoo as that as hard i want to add that's all then what i'll just assign it after assign it go back to your uv editor then press come back to this page press u then project from view you see then we have that we have the a again <clears throat> but remember i said i want to put that in hat there i'll just go back to share editor this to my to my image i will open the image i want i think i have i have hat then i will bring this hat put it so you see you have see the same then i will go back to uv editor the hat has shown then i will just if i like i can drag it here that's all and again still if i want to add another tattoo then you know what we will do plus remember you press this plus i'll go to your shader shader editor press new you know we are i already told you before you do that you have already copied those settings for the node for the texture so just press x then press ctrl d that's all you can rename it just to forward let me say maybe middle finger yeah middle finger for this tattoo so maybe i want the tattoo around his hair then i'll press go to edit mode press around all these faces here then i will come to this the same middle finger then also i can just go straight open this box find my middle finger as yes, this is my middle finger then i'll just put open yes then i'll just assign so what next go to your uv editor you press come back to this area u then press project from view now you see this is our nose around the nose then i'll just increase the size increase the size i'll increase the size again so you see the only boundary that is left is the boundary that it will be showing so you see the tattoo is on his face again Every, so, so that is how you can be doing let's say even the shade maybe you want to create a logo for it maybe you want to put some some name on it you can still use the method let, let, let me use since this is our color right we will go to shader editor then we add those things that we add at first i will add shift a that is mix and then take it here i'll just write from this float change it to color then i'll grab this color from this put it around here 
put it uh, for the A. Shift A again. Search for image texture. Yeah. Image texture. Then link them all. The base color. And this two again. Then I'll just open it. Maybe find find a picture. Um, let me see this. This should let me use this as my logo. Open image. Yes. That's all. Then what I will do next is press here and uh, here and here. And this thing is mirror modifier. Let me activate the glute, make it control A. Yeah. If I like, go to UV editor, then press U, project from view. So you see, we have we have our color now. Maybe logo. This one is just for plain logo, plain color texture. So you see, I have put the name on the shirt now yes we have already put it then this this is okay for us now and yes let me go back again to these colors let me press this one first start to red maybe i want this one to be black the heart logo let the um, red then you come here under this b is where you will control it let me drag it can put it then you see I've turned to red and the dark red every color you can use it depends on your likings even the hat even this shirt maybe you want to maybe shirt you have some texture you want to use let me show you how you can do that this one is for See, but just like bonus tutorial maybe let me let me just just remove this new then you can drag this out this is the easiest method i'm just using the simple and easy method press here go to image texture open let me see if i can find any vintage color or something that we can use as texture uh, let, uh, let, let's use this let's use this Tyler to create a texture if I press this then that's all what you want to do next is tap select all then do the UV project from view then you see go back to your UV editor is where you will edit it so press A to select all and drag them all here you can put your repeat for the cloth to be repeating since it is a texture you see this is how you can make it and you can come and reduce the roughness if I like the roughness should be around this so you see this is just the power of project from view Let's use render and see how the color will, will look like. So you see the color went so pop. So everything you are doing now. I think this tutorial if it is helpful. Make sure to subscribe on my channel and hit that bell notification so that if I post any update you can get it thank you for your time